Hey guys, it's Manny here again from the Piggy Miners, and today I'm going to be doing a mod called the Equivalent Exchange Mod. So what this is, is it adds a ton of new aspects to the vanilla game of Minecraft. So I'm just going to start off here by showing you a couple things. So you take four gold dust, four redstone, and a slime ball, and you craft it into what is called a Philosopher's Stone. So with this stone, you can have the alchemist chest steal it from you. And you can use all this cobble and turn it into useful things like, say, dirt. So each one cobble equals four dirt. Uh, two cobble equals four clay. This equals 12. And then, again, same thing, it's just going up. And then once you get here, it creates a redstone ore. So with this redstone ore, you can now go, and I'm just going to take all of it. Take all of it. And then from here, you can take this redstone ore and convert it into iron ore. And then, again, with this iron ore, you can take it and turn it into gold ore. And then with this gold ore, you can take it. And finally, you can turn it into a diamond ore. So, that's something cool that this mod implements. That's why it's called the equivalent exchange mod. Because you can equivalently exchange things and work your way up until you get diamond, say. If you don't want all that cobblestone sitting around. And if you don't know, or if you don't have too many mods installed, you can just take these few things here and you can turn them into a slime ball so that's just a way that the god that's gonna piss me off that's just a way that the mod helps you out a little bit so then also with this you can take these and you can turn it into I only need one of these Oh, I'm going to need the... Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Alright. Here we go. I am extremely stupid today because I'm really tired. It's been a long week at school, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I had five days of break, but on those five days, I was literally gone from 5.15 on the first day to 9 at night when we got back so I had no time to do school work and I've had to catch up all week and it's been terrible so with these few things you can create an alchemist coal this is just a better version of coal and very useful and then also within the mod say you have this uh, this bucket here for example with it you can just use the philosopher's stone and you can take it and break it down again if you don't have the philosopher's stone it doesn't do anything but you can break it down again into three iron ore. So that's also something cool that this mod implements. So now, I think I showed everything in that chest. I set it up in chests, just so I can show you guys lots of different things today. And then from here, I'm going to show you... I'm going to show you this first. So again, something else that this game implements in are these things called alchemist bags alchemy bags and what it does is it shows you an inventory it gives you this huge inventory that you can use and so let me just grab one thing here I guess you can't open a chest when you're holding it let me grab that let me place it in this white alchemy bag alchemy yeah alchemy bag so it's not in this orange alchemy bag as you can see because it's an orange alchemy it's in this white bag right in the center here but if you have another bag of that same color, it won't do anything. It'll just open up the same inventory. So there are tons and tons of these bags. I think it's 15. Yeah, 15 bags. So you can have 15 different bags holding 15 different inventories, which is very cool. So moving on, we have a thing called dark matter. So let me take some dark matter here and these two things. So dark matter takes a ton 
of diamond to create. I forgot exactly how many. I'm actually looking it up right now. It takes a uh, nine block. Actually, let me just demonstrate this for you guys. So it takes a... Where are you at, son? Should be around here, right? I'm looking for a block of diamond. Just stick with me, guys. It's okay. I'll figure it out every day. That was weak. Alright. It's not how many I wanted. But so you need... A 9 block here, a 9 block here, 9 block here, 9 block here. And then you need a uh, upgraded version of this Mobius... Of the Mobius coal. Uh, of the alchemical coal. You need this thing called Mobius fuel. And then you place it like that. And then you get your Philosopher's Stone. Place it in the middle. So that's one. So this dark matter is extremely expensive. But with this dark matter, you can create super tools basically it's tools that end game tools which are really really powerful and really really useful so with these end game tools what i have here is i have a destruction catalyst which uh is pretty much a mining tool kinda it just takes out a three by one space so you can easily just create tunnels really deep just super quickly and then what you can do with this is you can take it and create an even more powerful thing with using seven dark matter called the catalyst lens and this creates whatever I don't need you this creates an even longer tunnel I think it's three by three or not well when it's not charged up which I'll show you in a second when it's not charged up, it does the exact same thing, but when it is charged up, which I shall do now, put all this useless stuff back, then grab some of this glowstone. Glowstone is the fuel for this game. Not the fuel, but what you use to charge things. I'll probably take a hole out of my house, but that's okay. What you do to charge things up is you get some glowstone, and then you hold V, and then what you do is you just right click, and it'll... G is usually to activate, but I think with this you can just right click and it'll use it. This will create a huge, huge tunnel. You see it going all the way through the side there. And I think if it wasn't, if it didn't stop there, it would have just kept on going. So you can just use this to grief for days. Days. And then another thing it does, just a way to keep lag down in this game, is it drops things around you instead of as it goes down. So I'm already full because of how much that was like five hits or so but the way this game keeps the leg so low is by uh, just dropping things all around you so that you don't well it's helpful for you because you don't have to go and collect things and it's helpful for the game so it doesn't lag so much so enough of that let me grab a couple of these tools here and then you can make I'm not going to put it on, but just to demonstrate that you can make uh, different sorts of armor with the dark matter. Again, extremely expensive, but extremely useful. Uh, let me take this for later. And you know what? Let me just take all these bands so I don't have to come back here again. Because that would be bad. So again, more glowstone, because that's the what I use to charge things up. So you already see the catalyst, so I'll move that out of the way. And let me demonstrate some of these tools. So here you have the hammer which once charged up one sec guys once charged up it'll take out all the stone in the area I think yeah and then it'll just dump it on your head again why didn't it stay charged whatever so there not in the area but for a long period see how it it left all the dirt here but it took away the cobble I think it's for like five blocks back and on the same plane as you hit. Plane, if you get what I'm saying, is like this is a plane and this is a plane. They're each. It's just a block difference. So it takes it all out. Takes that all out. So now with the axe, I'm gonna skip the shears because I don't see a thing nearby. Sheep. With an axe, uh, you just hit it. 
and it takes out all the wood within a certain area. It didn't hit the trees over here, over there, but as you can see from there, it hit those trees right there. Let me just demonstrate it again. It takes all the wood out for a very long range. And then I'm going to show you that later. And then this shovel, again, takes out all the dirt in a certain area on the same plane. So there, there, see, took out that, but not above, for a very large area. This is really helpful for clearing fields. And then with this pickaxe, when you enable it by pressing G, it does a three tall shot, which takes out three up and down each time you swing. And it's extremely, extremely power, uh, quick to take things out just in general just taking down a single uh a single uh cobblestone not cobblestone smooth stone now i'm going to be showing you guys the dark matter sword so i'm going to charge it up and then i shall proceed into the nether and yeah i equip the dark matter armor which is really really good so here we go. No? No? Yes. Why is my game lagging so badly? That's kind of ridiculous. Get out. What's up, game? Almost. 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 Alright. It's doing okay now. S yep. There we go. I'm also going to be showing you what the soul stone does here. So let me just let my game render for a second longer. Wow, this is actually a really cool spawn. Huh. Alright, so let me go grab some guys. Recharging my sword. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, so I'm gonna go up to him, and I think it's right click. No, right click's to block. I think it's G to activate. That didn't really do anything. Let me try using the charge ability again. It might be R. I read somewhere it might be R. I don't know, I forgot. My game is still lagging a little bit, which kind of sucks. Mm. Yeah, that's gonna piss me off. Nope. I don't know. I guess the charge attack isn't working. For some reason or something. I don't know. Hopefully it's not happening to anyone else. So let me take all of these off and show you what the soul stone does. So what the soul stone does is allows you to die. Yeah. No, it's not what it does. So, one sec, guys. I'm sorry. All right, let me go back into my cove and then back into the nether. So, back into the nether. Let me just cheat a little bit. And I guess I'll show you guys this while I'm in here. And this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, no, not this, this can go away for now. Alright, so let me get some glowstone, and some this stuff, this stuff, we'll just do that, and that, alright. So, one last thing. Sorry, guys. 
I am so sorry. So, so sorry. I cannot explain it to you. Back into the nether. Hopefully it won't be so laggy this time. That'll be a plus. Yeah. Alright. So right now I'm charging up this band. Uh, Arch Archangel Smite. What this does, it's like a lag. It's pretty much like a bow and arrow. But when you activate it by pressing G, um, you pretty much go Rambo on anything and everything. It's kinda awesome. And then this soul stone, what it does is by right clicking on it, it'll use two redstone and heal you. One heart. Which is pretty cool. So let me use this one more time. And let me also show you what this does. This is called the Dark Hole Band, and what it does when activating it by pressing G, it uh, draws everything to you. It kind of, it's a black hole. Sucks it in, which is kind of cool. So let me continue. This is really laggy. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. See if I can find a ghast. Ghast would be cool. Or are those not? I don't know. I'm so behind on all the updates and everything. And you can deactivate it by pressing G, by the way. Alright, so let me show you this one now. Now that I got this area cleared out. So this is the... Volcanic Amulet. So what it does, by just right clicking on it, it sends a fireball, which hurts things. And another cool thing it does is, if you have water, I think, water amulet, Evertide amulet, oh well. If you have water, like so, I'm going to right click, yes, right click, you can just left click and it'll take it away by sending a fireball at it and if it's uncharged like that it'll just do the exact same thing I lied so now I just added to the nether which is kinda cool so lava walking that's what this can also do allows you well number one when you have it in your uh, inventory you're immune to fire and lava and getting hurt by lava and so when you activate it uh, it allows you to walk on fire on lava it's pretty much the exact same thing with this one that when you activate it it allows you to walk on water which is kinda cool enabled now I'm just kinda chilling on the water like so. So enough of that. Let's deactivate this just for the sake. So this one again, this one fires a uh, fireball, I think. It's the ring of ignition. So this fires the another fireball and it hurts mobs and sets things on fire. Oh, that's cool. So I can just light this whole place up and it'll never stop burning. Awesome. So now that I've griefed a little bit, Let's get into, where is it, uh, is it this one, it might be this one, which is extremely cool. So number one, it sends a type of, uh, hmm. what is it called, tornado that sends enemy back, enemies back, and I think it hurts them a little bit, but also, it uh, allows you to not take any fall damage when it's in your inventory. And if you press G, which is activating it, and you press space, you start flying, which is really cool. So you can just fly around and such. Ooh, let's... Ah, crap. Gotta recharge this. 
This will be awesome. Kinda. There. So now I'm walking on lava. It's kinda cool. Alright. So, I guess I showed all of you guys that. And, yeah. The last thing I'm going to show you here is the Dark Matter Hoe. Nah, <laughs> um, so all charged up, it right click, and it creates this huge field. So a ring or band, band, harvest goddess band, that goes along with this. Uh, when you right click, it plants all the seeds within a certain area. And also when you stand near them, they grow super fast. And also it's not watered, so I guess I guess it doesn't matter when you have this. So when it's activated, um, and you right and you left click, it uses four bone meal and grows them even faster. And then also when uh, when it's activated again and you left click, it will harvest all of them in your area or all that are done, which is really kind of cool. So you can farm so much faster with the Dark Matter hoe in this. So that's really about it. That's all I got to say about this mod. But really, I only scratched the surface. There's so many more things that there are to look at in this mod. There are these uh, aggregators that I know nothing about because they're super weird. I don't know. I could try to explain them, but I'd probably just fail. And then this transmutation table, which I would for sure fail at. Um, this thing, which I couldn't really figure out how to use it. Apparently, it speeds up time or slows down time, whether it's activated or not. But I, I just couldn't figure it out. But there are all these things. This whole spot right here. Uh, these are used to create different things like this and the uh, bags right here. These, I have no clue what they are. <laughs> and... I don't know, that's really about it. And here's one last thing that I gotta show you guys. These are pretty much like TNT. Except, let me get a ton more. Because that's how we're gonna end. Oh yeah, that should be enough. They're pretty much like TNT. Except they do no damage to you. And again, they drop all the things in a nice neat little pile for you because that's how the keeps its lag down drops it in a nice little pile for you so it's really useful and they I believe they do more than TNT more damage um I don't know so uh let me just hit this one and 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 ooh that's oh 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 there we go there we go so yeah that's about it for this mod thank you guys for watching if you like the video uh for sure click like and subscribe if you aren't already we really appreciate it you know we're just starting out even though we have a lot of videos but you know every little bit helps thanks guys